today we're out at the location right next to where we were at in the previous video where we were finding the Civil War relics. This seems like a good spot right through here. Got my buddy James out hunting with me today, AKA Digger Doug from the Friendly Forum. It's raining a little bit, but we don't care. That was an 11.32 at four inches. 13.34, four inches. That's mini ball numbers, so either a mini ball or an Indian head penny. And that one turned out to be a fired mini ball. Looks like it hit something pretty hard. There's Digger Doug over there digging up something. Okay, there's a mini ball number two for the day. Another fired one. So there's still some more in here. That one was ringing up a 1133 and it was only about maybe five, six inches down at the most. Just got that one on a 1034 signal. It was about, I don't know, seven, eight inches down. Anyway, that's a three ring mini. Just got a silver on a 1245 signal and that's exactly how it came out of the ground. And I thought I might have had it seated for a minute, but I've already looked at it. And it's a really worn barber dime. Little focus here. I think the date is 1892 and it looks like it's got a mint mark. Hard to see without my glasses, but I think it's an old mint mark. Here's a pretty neat Civil War relic. That's a carbine sling tip. Still got all the rivets in place. That one was down there about nine or 10 inches deep. I actually found one of these about 20 years ago that still had the leather, still had some leather on the back of it. That's a good find though. Here's another one in the mini ball or Indian head range. 1936 at five inches. 2033, 2036. I'm betting this one's a bullet. Well, that one wasn't a bullet. That one turned out to be a toe tap. It was probably down there seven inches or so. Nice. Here's a nice sounding signal. It's a 1745 at six inches. That's a pretty good chance that one will be a silver dime. There it is, guys. It was a silver. It's about uh, six or seven inches down and it's seated. That's the first seated I've found in a long time. Probably a couple of years now. I can't quite see the date, but I'll get it cleaned up and put up a picture. Awesome. Well, Digger Doug just got him a pistol ball and we got a couple of other bullets in this area. So we seem to be onto a little hot spot here. Awesome. Digger Doug just scored again. Got him an Indian head penny and looks like, uh, I can't really see that date. Is that 1896? I don't know. We're both too old to be damn seeing anything. That's right. We'll get a picture and put it up. We'll get a picture and put it up after this. Guys, I just got something absolutely awesome. I just got an 0437 signal right there and dug out about a six inch plug. And as I flipped out the dirt, that's what I saw. I've already seen it. It is a cast Confederate block eye button. Man, that is just awesome. I am thrilled with that. This makes the uh, third one of these I've found since I've started the hobby and looks like it's gonna be in great shape. Awesome, man, I'm stoked. All right, let me get it cleaned up and I'll put up a picture so you can get a better look. I just got a really faint 1036 signal and way down on the bottom of that hole, I just plucked out what I believe is a infield that's been pulled. Pretty neat. Nice to get something other than a three ringer. Just got a 1213 signal at about six inches down and plucked out a nickel for sure, but I haven't looked at it yet. I'm hoping it's a shield. 
get some light on it, we'll look at it together. Uh, it's just a buffalo. Oh well, I'll take it. Well, I just got what I thought was going to be a deep copper penny, but as it turned out, it's a silver. It's a mercury dime. I think the date's a 1917, if it'll focus there. Or maybe not. Anyway, I'll get it cleaned up and put up a picture. Fifteen thirty-three at six inches. That's right in the mini ball or Indian head range, and that's what it turned out to be. Some kind of token, I believe. I don't have my glasses on me, so I'll have to get it cleaned up a little later and give you a better look at it. Most of the wheat pennies that I'm pulling out of here are this really pretty shade of green, almost like a jade green cool just got another mercury dime on a 12 44 signal it's only about five inches deep i think that one's a 1943 just got that one on a 10 29 signal i believe that's a 44 caliber colt i could be wrong about that but i think that's what it is Anyway, it was about six inches down. James just got an old buckle. What do you think that's off of? A horse? Probably a horse. How deep was it? Uh, about four or five inches. All right. And there's another mini ball. Another 58 caliber three ringer, it looks like. That was down about five, six inches. See. James just got an old ring there. Guarantee you that one's got some age to it. If this thing will focus. There we go. And how deep did you say that one was? About seven inches. Oh, that was down there pretty good. Yeah. All right, nice, man. Thank you. I'll let you hear this one before I dig it. 1545 at seven inches. There's a good chance that'll be a silver dime. Well, it was a silver. I was hoping it'd be something a little older than a Merc, but I can't complain, I'll take it. We'll get it cleaned up and I'll get a date for you. It's getting pretty dark here, but hopefully you can see this. Just got that on a 1237 signal at about eight inches deep. It's a musket ball. All right, on to the next. Just got that one on a 0634 signal. And I guess it was around right at, I don't know, seven, eight inches down. Not sure what type that is, but it's definitely from the Civil War era. We'll look it up in the bullet book later. I had to fight for a long time to get that one out because it was way up under that root there. But anyway, looks like a 1901 Indian head. Seems like it's in pretty good shape too. Just got that on a 1239 signal at about seven inches. And I'm pretty sure it's some kind of token, but I have, even with my glasses on, I can't see what it is. So. We'll get a better look at that one after a while. Just got that on a 1040 signal and I'm not really sure what it is. I'm thinking it may be a range guide or something like that. If anybody knows for sure, leave me a comment down below. It's got another Buffalo nickel on a 12, 13 signal at about five inches down or so. check that out guys that is an old axe head or hatchet head that sucker was down there too I bet it was every bit of 15 16 inches that's pretty awesome listen to this one guys Fourteen forty-seven at 4 inches the only problem is 
it's right in the middle of all these roots. That's going to be a pain to dig out of there, but I think I'm going to have to give it a shot anyway. All right, let me show you what I'm working with here. As you can see, it's got roots on all four sides. Whatever it is, is only about five inches down, but it's pretty hard to get to. Anyway, I'm going to keep fighting with it, and if it turns out to be something good, I'll show you what it is. Finally, after all that work, though, it just turned out to be a little bent-up piece of copper. What a pain in the ass. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I'll go ahead and pan over everything and let you get a look at it. Starting with a couple of mystery items here. I'm not really sure what this thing is, but it's got a screw in one side of it there, which makes me think it went on the end of a stick or may even be a tip to a leg for a chair or something. I'm not really sure. And the other thing I originally thought was a rains guide, but the more I look at it, I'm not sure. I think it might be some kind of key. Anyway, if you recognize either one of those, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, another piece of something here that I'm not really sure about. That was pretty deep down there, so I'm pretty sure it's old. But I have no idea what it came off of. It might be part of a pot or something. I don't know. Uh, there's a piece of a clock. One of those old, weird-looking pull tabs. And this was a first found a can of pepper spray uh, whatever that is I have no idea some random doodads there and this piece looks pretty old and pretty decorative I'm not really sure what that came off of either pretty neat though what else um, got a total of 19 wheat cents got the good four five cents in trade token Got the uh, Rome Railway and Light Company school check. Got two buffalo nickels. I didn't get a date off of either one of those. I got the one Indian head penny, which I think was a 1901. I uh, got a total of seven silvers. Two of those came from nearby curb strips, so I didn't show them on the video, but Anyway, I got uh, one, two, three, four mercury dimes with dates ranging from 1917 to 1943. I uh, got the one Roosevelt, which I believe is a 1960. Yeah, 1960. I got the first year barber, 1892-0. And my best coin was a 1876 Seated Liberty. And as far as Civil War relics go, I got uh, several mini balls, one musket ball, and one carved bullet, which I, I don't know if they use that for a fishing weight or what, but I thought it was pretty neat. I wonder why they grooved out the bottom like that. It's got a flat spot on the other end and the hole goes all the way through, which makes me think it might've just been a fishing weight. Uh, got the carbine sling belt tip. Got a toe tap, piece of some kind of little buckle there, camp hatchet, and of course my best find was a Confederate block eye button. Not quite as good a shape as my other ones, but I still, I'm still extremely happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Happy hunting, happy new year, and I'll see you next time.